Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware today, Rockstar Games finally released the Smuggler's Run DLC. And boy oh boy, this DLC isn't cheap whatsoever. But as always, throughout the entire day today, I'm going to cover all of the brand new content to save you guys both time and money. So as always, do be sure to drop a like down below and also feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So first things first, I'm going to be covering the brand new properties which are known as hangers and of course you guys will need to own one of these if you do want to take part in the brand new smuggling missions or you do want to store any of the brand new aircraft in your hangar now there is only two different locations where these hangars are located lsi and fort zancudo now the prices will range from 1.2 million all the way up to 3.2 million now going off experience and feedback from van clubhouses or offices or warehouses or vehicle warehouses houses or businesses the price isn't going to make a difference it's only going to affect the location or maybe the aesthetics of the building but as far as being able to store more crates or more product or more vehicles that won't be the case for the more expensive ones they will offer exactly the same as the cheaper ones now me personally i went ahead and bought my aircraft the lsi for the reason i do believe a lot of people are going to be buying the aircraft at fort sancudo because i can see the majority of people buying their hangars at fort sancudo now it is worth mentioning once you guys buy your hangar at Fort San Kudo, you will get access to the military base however if you guys start shooting off your gun inside the base like someone tries to attack your product or steal your aircraft then you guys will gain a wanted level instantly whereas at LSI customs if someone's trying to rob you outside your hangar you can easily gain a wanted level and lose that very easily in LSI so that's the only reason that I decided to go with my aircraft at LSI but like I said maybe you guys do prefer to have one at Fort San kudo because you can get a jet quickly so like i said there is pros and cons to both locations just whatever suits you guys best now as you guys can see just like your offices and clubhouses once you guys have purchased it you can choose a hangar style and of course these do get more expensive the more further you go down and as you guys can see right here after you chose the style you can choose the lighting which is pretty pointless i would save your money if i was you guys and then after you've done that you can actually choose the floor design which once again some of them look pretty sick but as you guys can see see they are going to cost you guys over 100k each so what i would definitely do is avoid buying these right now because you can always go back and edit this at a later date now the next option we get is the office furniture exactly like our offices that you can get at Maze bank or the arcadius business center there is only three different styles standard traditional and modern now like i said this is all dependent on how much you guys have in the bank if you're looking to get some of the new vehicles which i will be covering throughout the entire day today so if i was you guys i'd save your money for right now to see what they're all about first in some of my videos and then make your purchases you might want to leave this off now after that you guys can add a living quarters which i would definitely do because if you add a living quarters that means you guys will have to spawn at your hangar which can save you guys a bunch of time in the long run then after that you guys can add a workshop of course this will set you guys back 1.15 million just for the workshop but it will allow you guys to customize your aircraft use the upgrades and like i said just turn them into a beast really now once you guys enter your aircraft you are going to get greeted with a cutscene from ron who's trevor's friend from story mode so i'll quickly play this out for you guys so you just get a better idea of what it's all about from you and you'll join them i've got a space weapon from russia a russian hacker space weapon and i'm going to liquidize you just like i did to your friends yes liquidize ow hi hi oh you, you trying to kill me oh god no Oh, oh, you're my new partner. You bought into the place. You're late. What kept you? Yeah, well, it's too late. Ah, that bastard Tre... Uh, my best friend? Oh, he's supposed to protect me forever? Then he goes all Vinewood on me. He's too important for Ron now. But he's a guru. He's a lifestyle coach. I don't know what he is. I bet he's got abs. Oh, 
I am so alone. I just shot two government agents in the head. I mean, I hope they're government agents. I'm screwed. We're screwed. Where's that mechanic? Oh, I mean, that's the only reason I, I let them in. Because I thought it was going to be him. Ooh, who's that? Hey, ball. Hey, boss. Oh, hey, boss. Is that what I get? Well, you're getting a sandwich. I'm getting killed. These two people came to kill me. Not him. He's your new boss. Well, a co-boss with me. This is Charlie. He was in the Air Force. He was accused of a crime he didn't commit. Innocent mistake. Planes crash. He was the fall guy. You know how the deep state is. Ch Charlie, get to work. Ignore the corpses. So, anyway. Business is good and business is bad. Now, that's a problem. On one hand, we've got more orders than we can possibly handle. And on the other, I'll be surprised if we're not killed in the next 48 hours. Come on, let me give you a tour. And I can deal with this mess while you get to work. And it's really pretty obvious. Okay, now, this is the office where I, uh, we, I mean we, equal partners, we, you, senior partner, run the business. Now, this is the computer. It's very secure. We lose this, we're all dead men. This is where the job's coming through. Yeah? So you can check it out? Okay? Okay, let's move on. Up here is where you can sleep if you want to. It's very comfortable, and it's clean. It's pretty clean. I mean, it's been cleaned at least once. Come on. Now back here is where we store cargo. Now nothing too dodgy. Mostly untaxed cigarettes, stolen pharmaceuticals, and industrial chemicals. But we'll run pretty much anything. Now back there is where you can store any aircraft that we... I mean, you haven't left out here on the main floor. You've got plenty of room. I think we can probably take all the planes we'd need. But then, I've never had more than one. And over there's where Charlie works. Hey, Charlie! Ah! You'll like Charlie. He's boring, but he's good. He can really make aircraft fly. That's not what I mean. I mean, he can make aircrafts fly better. You should try him out. His work is amazing. Give me a hand with these bodies. Uh, oh, I better dump these at sea. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Then I got a little radio thing, but I'll be in touch. I am so glad you're here. You're the best friend I've had, and I mean that. Don't let me down! Okay, so at the end of the video, I'll give you guys a full tour of the warehouse so you guys can see what it looks like inside. However, what you guys do want to do once you've purchased the warehouse is make your way onto the computer. From here, you guys will have to set up the business and it'll give you guys a bit of an example of what the missions will be like when we're sourcing new crates or aircraft for a hangar. So as you guys can see right here, this mission right here is to steal an aircraft and deliver it to the hangar. It's a very basic and straightforward mission. You can expect more missions like this throughout the hangar, but obviously with a bit more difficulty. It's also more than likely a lot of the aircrafts you guys are going to be stealing are going to be the new aircraft. So I would definitely try these missions out before going ahead and buying some of these new aircrafts. Even though I will be doing a full showcase on every single aircraft in the game throughout the day today. And like I said, some of these aircraft go up to five million dollars, so they ain't cheap whatsoever. You guys definitely want to know what they're all about before you guys spend that kind of money. As you guys can see in this one right here called the Mogul, this one does actually come with a machine gun mounted onto it. So I'm not going to lie, some of these aircraft in this new DLC are very, very sick indeed. And it's about time we've got some new aircraft to challenge the Hydras and the bloody Jets in the game. Now, as I'm sure with most of these aircraft missions, you guys will need to lose the cops when delivering it to the hangar and as you guys can see 
think driving into LSI it will be much easier than trying to deliver an aircraft into Fort San Cudo with a bunch of military and cops around it just easily shooting you down. Like I said, keep that in the back of your mind before you guys make the purchase. However, once you guys have completed this setup mission, now you guys can properly access the computer inside your hangar and you can see how many products you can hold. So I'll let Ron quickly Welcome explain more about this. Partner. This is Ron Tikowski. Damn, damn, I shouldn't say my name. Note to self, edit that bit out. Okay, I prepared this recording to talk you through the basics of our new operation. You'll find all the information you need about stock levels and our holdings on the homepage here. Then, when you're ready to make an acquisition, you hit the source button. Once you've got some stock, we can look at making a sale. We're a market-driven business. There'll be good deals for what the buyers out there want at any given time. But the real edge comes when we unload a particular cargo in bulk to a big buyer. They tend to throw in a sweetener. That's it. Now, source some stock and hopefully the program I wrote will erase this audio file from your hard drive. If not, see you in court. Uh, uh, jury! I've got mental problems. I'm a fantasist. I'm running for president. Now, you're able to choose what cargo we're hitting here. Now, the deep state doesn't like this. The shadow economy, it's taking tax money away from their pals, the globalist conglomerates. But they make some work harder than the rest. Poisonous, untaxed alcohol and tobacco is easier to go after than Big Pharma's worst enemy. The mind-focusing and totally harmless narcotic stimulants, for example. So as you guys can see and you've just heard, this time it allows us to choose what product we want to source. Whereas we could get all of these products in our normal warehouses when we just done crate missions. This time they offer a different difficulty level. So getting tobacco and alcohol will be much easier than you guys trying to source something like narcotics. And as he also did mention, you're much better off selling in bulk to a specialist buyer because you guys will be receiving a cash bonus but don't worry just like all the other previous big dlcs i will be putting together an ultimate money making guide to do with these new hangers how you guys can make the most amount of money in the shortest period of time as well as giving you guys a bunch of tips and tricks that will hopefully save you guys both time and money in the long run nonetheless that is going to do it for me guys i'm going to play out some music while i walk through the entire hangar to show you guys what it's all about and what it looks like don't forget to subscribe as i am going to be covering everything in this brand new dlc throughout the day today thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace with the flow you ain't messing with my vision messing with the money you ain't messing with decisions yeah you messing with the team then you messing with the squad mess with one of us you be messing with them all yeah 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 staying up late making it right living it up to my name focus on doing it better you just be doing the same you doing it lame i'm doing like everything changed forget all the money forget all the fame i still would have done it if they would have played all of the music i make every day like whoa crazy the way the world goes blind when you look at it close zoom out when you view in the picture perspective is all that we know i'm all on my zone i'm all on my own keep making a difference i'm chasing the tones i'm finding myself with the more that i grow get out of my way as i'm you ain't messing with the flow you ain't messing with my vision messing with the money you ain't messing with decisions yeah you messing with the team then you messing with the squad mess with one of us you be messing with them all you ain't messing with the flow you ain't messing with my vision messing with the money you ain't messing with decisions yeah you messing with the team then you messing with the squad mess with one of us you be messing with the mall yeah 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 messing 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 with the mall yeah messing 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 with the mall yeah messing 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 with the mall yeah 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 messing with the mall yeah yeah all about that manifesting Knowing that you'll make it without any question I've been stressing, I ain't gonna lie Watching how they watch me, all I ever see is eyes, yeah Last year hardly noticed, so this year they don't expect it 
Once you hear the song, I swear I'm probably down my next hit. Damn, I swear my next if everything looking up. Putting crazy hours, I promise you this ain't love. Yeah, they told me to stick with the rap. Matter of fact, they go riddle the track. Everything good just be turning to great. Hungry for more, keep on filling the plate. Yeah, I don't know when, I don't know where, but everything about to be changed. Organically coming alive is growing and growing like every day. Cause I've been just planning this as I go. Got my whole future, I don't really know. Swear this time is moving so fast. They say good things never will last. Break that bottle, breaking that code. Everything easy, feeling so old. Everything new is making me work. Even you ain't messing with what is the it flow. Work? You ain't messing with my vision. Messing with the money. You ain't messing with decisions. Yeah, you messing with the team. Then you messing with the squad. Mess with one of us. You be messing with the all. You you ain't messing with the flow, you ain't messing with my vision. Messing with the money, you ain't messing with decisions. Yeah, you messing with the team, then you messing with the squad. Mess with one of us, you be messing with them all, yeah.